Hello, people of YouTube. Is that once again the great James? I'm not gonna give you this long intro. Just know new ban list is up. You guys probably already know about. It. I know a couple cards that are off the list, but I'm, I'm blind to the majority of them. So let's not dilly dally anymore. Let's get right into it. Okay, nothing, nothing, nothing. Orcus Harp Horror got banned. Just straight up banned. Jeez. I mean, good, because I don't really like Harp Horror, and I guess if any Orcus was going to get hit, I don't mind that it's that one. But it's like, wow, just straight up banned. Not even limited. Just get the fuck out. Yeesh. Okay, no more effect monsters and just regular. A new fusion. Thunder Dragon Colossus got banned! Jeez Louise. Like, I kind of knew about that one, but it's also like, no, there's no way he got fucking banned. I mean, but it's like, no, he got fucking banned. I mean, I get it because despite the fact that it. Colossus' effect to me personally was never the most busted of effects in terms of its effect alone. It was a fact that it always saves itself by banishing one card. Like, Titan banishes two. It's a more annoying card and isn't once per turn, but it finishes two, so it also has a heavier cost of the two. Which makes sense, boss monster, the archetype, and all that jazz. But it's like, yeesh. It's like, I didn't expect it to be banned. Limited, sure. Banned, no. Next is Heavy Metal Foes Electromite, and Pendulums are dead. <laughs> yeesh. I guess Konami had finally decided, you know what? We gave you too many warnings, and now you're just straight up done. You're done, son. That's all there is to it. Oh, it's just straight up the band. That's wow. I think that kind of—I don't know if that completely kills all pendulum decks, considering MR5 and no one knows what the fuck's going on with that. I haven't even revealed the new summoning mechanic yet, and we know there's going to be one. We just don't know what it is yet. Rush Shokun. Oh. Find out that when we get to it. I'm going to hear Rush Summon. I just imagine Rush from Mega Man. Anyway, I'm stalling. Ib of the World Challenge, just to stop, just to cert, just to sire, eh, whatever, forget. I don't know what this one is, so I'm just going to see an FTK or some broken combo thing. Tempest Magician, that bitch where it's like, oh wait, no, I know why Tempest is on this list. Because of all the uh, Endemonium Magicians, but they're all get out billion spell counters, and, and, and Tempest is like, okay, you can remove one spell counter from the, you know, dude, for every spell counter removed, you can do them all at once, for the record. You don't have to do them one at a time, because, ugh, imagine. You can do 700 points of damage. So, you just have to get, like, 12 spell cards on the field, which, believe it or not, with the Endemonium's Magicians, is very easy to do. Boom. I wouldn't be surprised if I... I wouldn't be too surprised if I saw a Megaton Magical Blast on this list. Then again, I guess people just play Regeki nowadays, but, you know, it's still one of those interests, like, ugh. ugh. I can understand why on that one, just because, you know, ugh. Yeah, but I just haven't seen too much of it. Anyway, Outer Entity as a thought. Be gone, thought! Ugh, maybe this means that freaking the, wait, the Phantom Knights might get their, um, pickup magic back or something like that. Yeah, as a thought's a bitch, just get rid of her. I'm, they made the right choice. And Solomon Great Mirage Stello. Ugh, jeez. We're just freaking for finally just laying the smack down all those decks that have been running rampant because Konami has a new archetype coming out so of course they have to promote the fuck out of those and the only way to promote the fuck out of those is by turning the fuck out of the old ones so it's just the way it's been for years <laughs> something new but me yeah, just figured by Solomon Greats <laughs> well I guess killing Mirage still doesn't kill the entire archetype it does kill a good search engine for it so yeah it's bound to happen eventually there's a question of if only when a uh, brilliant fusion got banned. Ugh, oh, god damn it! This hurts me personally as a Gem Knight player and a, gem, and a fan of Gem Knights. Like, I get why it was done, but doesn't mean I have to like it, you know? Because like, thanks everyone else being a fucking asshole. Now I can't and use my brilliant fusion just to have fun with an old, with a fun archetype. God forbid there be fun in this game. Ugh. Oh. I get why, just I don't, just because I get, understand why a card is banned doesn't mean I have to like it. Okay, nothing new, and, um, Sky's Trigger Mobilize Engage. Just, can, can we kill this Sky's Trigger? Oh, they didn't hit Argent Chaos Force. Uh, just, can we kill the Sky Striggers, too? Sure, why not? I guess if we're gonna hit, 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 hit any of the Sky Trigger cards to be banned, I guess Engage makes the most sense, considering it is the most annoying in all that jazz. So, yeah, makes sense. <laughs> Sorry. And, uh, no trap cards, because no one plays trap cards nowadays, so why bother? Okay, limited list is... Danger Nessie! Good, fuck the dangers. I don't even have any regrets about saying that. Fuck the dangers, end of story. 
Dinosaur Prankratops. Good, but Prankratops. At the same time, people were really only running one paint. Prankratops? 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 The dinosaur, the dino wrestler. People were only really running one of them anyway, so I don't think it's going to do too much. But I guess anything to get rid of, anything that hurts Prankratops in any sense is fine with me. Uh, next is Servant of Endemonium. I could not tell you what this card does because that would require me to read a five paragraph essay. So I'm going to say good because the same reason as Tempest Magician and move on with my life. Um, ooh. True King Luthusigium the Disaster. A true dru a true, true king ca or came back. For some I thought it was a dragon lord because I saw Tempest right above it. would be like, wait, Tempest came back? Wait, Tempest was already back. <laughs> I'm thinking the new dragon lord came back though. Or the old dragon lord. I think I haven't gotten to that part yet. All right. Assuming I didn't just go past and just forget. Um, yeah, good for true kings. They deserve to get some cards back, I guess. As long as, as long as it doesn't fuck me over, I really don't give a shit. If you guys want to play your archetype just to have fun, go right ahead and be my guest. Just don't fuck me over. That's all I ask of everyone. Everyone can go about their day. Just don't, just leave me the fuck alone. Card of demise was limited. Eh, good. I would have to worry about demise set for pass. Ugh. No, could have been worse. <laughs> I I agree with this choice, and let's just move on from there because I don't really have much else to say. But it's one of those cards. Eh, whatever, whatever. I don't need to go on anymore. Um, Dragonic Diagram. <laughs> Here, you have a True King card back. We're just gonna take the field spell and we're gonna make up for it. We gave we give you in one hand and we shit in the other. We give you we give you one card and we'll take two. That's a Konami strategy. We give you we give you one, we take two. <laughs> Boy, there. <laughs> what breaking even? Anyway, yeah, just. I don't have a complaint with this one. It makes sense to me, considering popping a card in your hand is always going to be something that's kind of busted. Anyway, next. Into the Void! Ooh. <laughs> and I just made a new bell deck for fun, and now Into the Void got banned. Crap. Uh -huh. I was only running it at two anyway, but still, like. Uh, you know. Hey, you're wondering why I was making a new bell deck. It's called having fun. <laughs> uh, role playing, my friend. Role playing. I'm allowed to have fun in this game. Even everyone else seems to disagree with me. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. It's one of those cards where it's like... I always thought the effect of it was like, if you have less than three cards in your hand, draw a card. But it's like, no, if you have more than three cards, like, uh. Anyway, yeah, makes sense. No complaints. Pot of Avarice! Ooh, hoo, hoo, yes! This is a classic for me. I'm glad when... I always love when we get some classic cards off the ban list. Ooh, yeah. I can finally take pot, Jar of Avarice out of my decks. I guess if I need, I guess if it's in a deck that I need more than one copy of it, I can just reduce the number. But yes, thank you. I can put five cards back in my deck and draw two. I can put a bunch of extra deck monsters in my great. Into I can put a bunch of extra deck monsters back in the deck and then have basically pot of greed. Pro strats. Look, we draw it early game. It's kind of fun. Then I get all the cards to send to the graveyard for no cost nowadays. What? 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 Waiting. What's awaiting? <laughs> yes, pot of adverse is back. Now watch me immediately emergency ban listed. Fuck. Um, Sekka's Light. Okay. I mean, it's a draw to the... I don't like Sekka's Light anyway. Personally, I don't like the card. That's my personal opinion. I'm allowed to that. Even if I'm wrong. Uh, that's it for the spell. A new trap. Red Reboot got limited. Um, okay. I don't really run Red Reboot, so I don't really have an opinion on this one, really. <laughs> okay, so I can't pay up my life points and negate a trap card for a turn, and then they plus one. Woo. I mean, yeah, they shut down trap cards for the entire turn, but so does trap stun, and it doesn't make my opponent break even, and I don't pay half my life points. The spell speed isn't as fast, but it's one of those things where it's like, eh, either way. Eh, eh. People who play Red Reboot at least you still have one left, I guess. And you were probably only running one in the first place. Uh, Deep Sea Diva got semi-limited. Of course you got semi-limited. They just made a new Deep Sea Diva support. I never thought I'd say that aloud. Um... But yeah, of course you got the semi-limited. They just made support for her. Why wouldn't they? Tour Guide from the Underworld got went to two. Good for her, I guess. I mean, hmm. Interesting. Good for her. I don't really have anything else to say about that. And Mind Control got semi-limited. Okay. Odd choice, I mean. I mean, I guess it's probably that people were stealing monsters to like use it like the and shit like that. But they've been doing that for years. Why is it a problem now? Whatever. I haven't been keeping up with the meta in a while, so... 
I'm probably get, missing a lot of combo pieces. If you want someone who actually takes an in-depth, in-value look at this from the meta's perspective, go watch Simo or someone who actually knows what the fuck they're talking about. I'm just some scrub who still lives with his parent and it's with this sort of a beard head line and just talking about you know, pieces of cardboard that have lasted for over 25 years because humanity is fucked. Anyway, now for the no longer on the list, Dark Arm Dragon, good lady debug. We took your Solomon Great Searcher already. You can have your Cyber Searcher back. Morphing Jar number two. Zero to three? Ugh. I don't know how I feel about that one. <laughs> I have opinions. Reform Age Damler, Damage Juggler. Can we not? Can we not and just say we did? <laughs> Please. Tribe Infecting Virus! I have been preaching this card since before Stratos came back. I have, n I will never understand how this card was uh, was banned, but all the fucking other, but things like Ergeki and all that, and Dark Hole were running around just fine. So good, I'm fine with Tribe Infecting Virus coming back. I've been preaching this thing for the high heavens. Sky Striker eats Kigari. We took away your Sky Striker multi-roll, you can, or whatever the fuck it was. You can, you can have a Kigari back, I guess. Two Kigaris even. We take we took one, so here's two. Actually we took we took three, so here's two, I guess. Or three. I don't know. Whatever. Well actually no. We took three. Wait no, it's limited. You can you can over try and say. Book of Moon! People played that card? I mean, there's only one art there's only one summoning mechanic in the game that we know of so far that can can't go into defense mode, but people were playing that card? Eh. Whatever. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's why they weren't playing it. It because they they just realized it existed. Anyway, Fan the Phantom Knight's Rank Up Magic launch. Good. It shouldn't have been hit in the first place. It was banned because of Azathoth and Rusty Barnacle. And if that card comes back, good. Now maybe Dark Requiem Exceeds Dragon will see play. And then at least if I'm going to die, I can die by a dragon that has freaking, like, uh, that stuff in the windows in churches for wings. I forget. Stained glass windows. There it is. Solemn Warming. Good. And the Solemn cards that get go to three is an okay in my book, considering if you have less than 2,000 life points left, that shit's a brick. <laughs> and Soul Drain. Okay. I mean, skill grade for the graveyard, fine by me. And yeah, that's it. And, uh, no, I might as well just go for the customary one more time, one more wrap up just to get over it, with, even though you probably don't know this like the back of your head, and I have nothing to do with my life. Band Orcist Harp Horror. Or Band Thunder Dragon Colossus, Band Electromite, poor Chase. If the world chalice just to see her. Third Tempest Magician, Old Outer Entity, As of Thought, Solomon Great, Mirage, Stelio, Brilliant Fusion, oh, that's that kind of hurts. It's Stry Sky Striker, Mobilize, Engage, Limited, Danger Nessie, good. It is Dinosaur, Prankratops, good. Servant of Endemonium, too long to, for me to care. <laughs> True King, The Disaster, I'm not saying the name. In the, uh, Card Demise, He's Dragonic Diagram, Into the Void, Pot of Avarice, at least we got one nostalgic card out of it, even if we don't get to, well, that ain't trying to the virus. Um, Sekka's Light, Red Reboot, Deep Sea Diva, Tour Guide from the Underworld, Mind Control, and uh, those ones, th those three I just said were semi-limited, and of course the unlimited are Dark Arm Dragon, Lady Debug, Morphing Jar Number 2, Perform Mage, Damage Juggler, Tribe Infecting Virus, Sky Striker Ace Kigari, Book of Moon, the Phantom Knights, Rank Up Magic Launch. These cards are getting longer and longer. It's becoming a five paragraph essay. Solid Morning and Soul Drain. Of course, I say that right before those, the short names. Excuse me. So, yeah, this is a much bigger balance. I'm noticing a pattern. Whenever it's the beginning of the year, Konami hits basically a fuck ton of cards. And then when we get to the end of the year, it's like, we get about five. We're done. Maybe six. Six on a busy day. It's winter. It's cold. We really don't want to. <laughs> all right i think this is a pretty good ban list overall i'm sure lots of people will be happy with it because i have heard good things from this except for the people that i got hit as per usual because when your car gets hit it really fucking sucks i'm still upset that it, i'm still upset that the freaking brilliant fusion is dead no it's such a good card but that's why it's hit maybe it'll get limited next to next to the ban list I can dream, damn it. You can have Stratos. I can have Brilliant Fusion. I'm allowed to my dreams, god damn it. Anyway, see ya. Bye.